Alpha-1 Antitrypsin, Wikipedia Article Audio 1ATU, 1D5S, 1EZX, 1HP7, 1IZ2, 1KCT, 1008, 1OPH, 1PSI, 1QLP, 1QMB, 2D26, 2QUG, 3CWL, 3CWM, 3DRM, 3DRU, 3NDD, 3NDF, 3NE4, 3T1P, 7API, 8API, 9API, 4PYW, 5I01. NM00112770, NM00112772, NM00112773, NM00112704, NM00112705, NM00112706. Function Role in disease NM009247 NP0011217474 NP0011217475 NP0011217176 NP0011217 NP0011217178 NP0011217179 NP033273 Alpha-1 antitrypsin or alpha-1 antitrypsin is a protein belonging to the serpent superfamily. It is encoded in humans by the serpent A1 gene. A protease inhibitor, it is also known as alpha-1 proteinase inhibitor or alpha-1 antiproteinase because it inhibits various proteases. In older biomedical literature it was sometimes called serum trypsin inhibitor, because its capability as a trypsin inhibitor was a salient feature of its early study. As a type of enzyme inhibitor, it protects tissues from enzymes of inflammatory cells, especially neutrophil elastis, and has a reference range in blood of 0.92.3 G-L, but the concentration can rise many fold upon acute inflammation. When the blood contains inadequate amounts of A1AT or functionally defective A1AT, neutrophil elastis is excessively free to break down elastin, degrading the elasticity of the lungs, which results in respiratory complications, such as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, in adults. Normally, A1AT leaves its site of origin, the liver, and joins the systemic circulation. Defective A1AT can fail to do so, building up in the liver, which results in cirrhosis in either adults or children. A1PI is both an endogenous protease inhibitor and an exogenous one used as medication. The pharmaceutical form is purified from human donor blood and is sold under the non-proprietary name alpha-1 proteinase inhibitor and under various trade names. Recombinant versions are also available but are currently used in medical research more than as medication. Nomenclature A1AT is a 52 cata serpent and, in medicine, it is considered the most prominent serpent. The terms alpha-1 antitrypsin and protease inhibitor are often used interchangeably. Most serpents inactivate enzymes by binding to them covalently requiring very high levels to perform their function. In the acute phase reaction, a further elevation is required to limit the damage caused by activated neutrophil granulocytes and their enzyme elastis, which breaks down the connective tissue fiber elastin. Genetics Like all serine protease inhibitors, A1AT has a characteristic secondary structure of beta sheets and alpha helices. Mutations in these areas can lead to non-functional proteins that can polymerize and accumulate in the liver. 
Disorders of this protein include alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, an autosomal codominant hereditary disorder in which a deficiency of alpha-1 antitrypsin leads to a chronic uninhibited tissue breakdown. This causes the degradation especially of lung tissue and eventually leads to characteristic manifestations of pulmonary emphysema. Evidence has shown that cigarette smoke can result in oxidation of methionine 358 of alpha-1 antitrypsin, a residue essential for binding elastis, this is thought to be one of the primary mechanisms by which cigarette smoking can lead to emphysema. Because A1AT is expressed in the liver, certain mutations in the gene encoding the protein can cause misfolding and impaired secretion, which can lead to liver cirrhosis. An extremely rare form of PI, termed PI Pittsburgh, functions as an antithrombin, due to a mutation. One person with this mutation has been reported to have died of a lethal bleeding diathesis. Biochemical Properties A liver biopsy will show abundant PA-positive globules within periportal hepatocytes. Analysis The protein was initially named antitrypsin because of its ability to bind and irreversibly inactivate the enzyme trypsin in vitro covalently. Trypsin, a type of peptidase, is a digestive enzyme active in the duodenum and elsewhere. Therapeutic use The term alpha-1 refers to the protein's behavior on protein electrophoresis. On electrophoresis, the protein component of the blood is separated by electric current. There are several clusters, the first being albumin, the second being the alpha, the third beta and the fourth gamma. The non-albumin proteins are referred to as globulins. The alpha region can be further divided into two subregions, termed 1 and 2. Alpha-1 antitrypsin is the main protein of the alpha-globulin-1 region. History Another name used is alpha-1 proteinase inhibitor. The gene is located on the long arm of the 14th chromosome. Over 100 different variants of alpha-1 antitrypsin have been described in various populations. Northwestern Europeans are most at risk for carrying one of the most common mutant forms of A1AT, the Z mutation. A1AT is a single-chain glycoprotein consisting of 394 amino acids in the mature form and exhibits many glycoforms. The three N-linked glycosylation sites are mainly equipped with so-called diantenary N-glycans. However, one particular site shows a considerable amount of heterogeneity since tri- and even tetrantenary N-glycans can be attached to the asparagin 107. These glycans carry different amounts of negatively charged silic acids, this causes the heterogeneity observed on normal A1AT when analyzed by isoelectric focusing. Also, the fucosylated triantenary N-glycans were shown to have the fucose as part of a so-called Silyl-Lewis X epitope, which could confer this protein particular protein cell recognition properties. The single cysteine residue of A1AT in position 256 is found to be covalently linked to a free single cysteine by a disulfide bridge. The level of A1AT in serum is most often determined by adding an antibody that binds to A1AT, then using turbidimetry to measure how much A1AT is present. Other detection methods include the use of enzyme-linked immunosorbent assays and radial immunodiffusion. Different analytical methods are used to determine A1AT phenotype. As protein electrophoresis is imprecise, the A1AT phenotype is analyzed by isoelectric focusing in the pH range 4.5 to 5.5, where the protein migrates in a gel according to its isoelectric point or charge in a pH gradient. 
Normal A1AT is termed M, as it migrates toward the center of such an IEF gel. Other variants are less functional and are termed AL and NZ, dependent on whether they run proximal or distal to the M band. The presence of deviant bands on IEF can signify the presence of alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Since the number of identified mutations has exceeded the number of letters in the alphabet, subscripts have been added to most recent discoveries in this area, as in the Pittsburgh mutation described above. PIM, 100%, PIMS, 80% of normal serum level of A1 at, PIS, 60% of normal serum level of A1 at, PIMZ, 60% of normal serum level of A1 at, PISZ, 40% of normal serum level of A1 at, Pizzicato, 10-15%, PIS is caused by a glutamate to lysine mutation at position 342. PIS is caused by a glutamate to valine mutation at position 264. As every person has two copies of the A1AT gene, a heterozygote with two different copies of the gene may have two different bands showing on electrofocusing, although heterozygote with one null mutant that abolishes expression of the gene will only show one band. In blood test results, the IEF results are notated as in PIMM, where PI stands for protease inhibitor and MM is the banding pattern of that patient. Alpha-1 antitrypsin levels in the blood depend on the genotype. Some mutant forms fail to fold properly and are, thus, targeted for destruction in the proteasome, whereas others have a tendency to polymerase being retained in the endoplasmic reticulum. The serum levels of some of the common genotypes are. Other rarer forms have been described, in all, there are over 80 variants. Recombinant alpha-1 antitrypsin is not yet available for use as a drug but is under investigation as a therapy for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. It is currently available for bench research. Therapeutic concentrates are prepared from the blood plasma of blood donors. The US FDA has approved the use of four alpha-1 antitrypsin products derived from a human plasma, prolastin, zemera, glacia, and aralist. These products for intravenous augmentation A1AT therapy can cost up to $100,000 per year per patient. They are administered intravenously at a dose of 60 mg kg once a week. A recent study analyzed and compared the three FDA-approved products regarding their primary structure and glycosylation. All three products showed minor differences compared to the normal human plasma A1AT, and are introduced during the specific purifications procedures. However, these detected differences are not believed to have any negative implications for the patients. Aerosolized augmented A1AT therapy is under study. This involves inhaling purified human A1AT into the lungs and trapping the A1AT into the lower respiratory tract. However, inhaled A1AT may not reach the elastin fibers in the lung where elastis injury occurs. Further study is currently underway. Since 1995, significant strides have been made in improving the survival of individuals affected with Alpha-1 through Alphanet's Alpha-1 Disease Management Program, a unique and innovative disease management program. The results of this program were first documented in the effects of a disease management program in individuals with Alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency. Axelson and Laurel first investigated the possibility of allelic variants of A1AT leading to disease in 1965. 